There is a house in New Zebedee <laughs> that's got a clock in its wall. Very nice. <laughs> well done. Oh, thank Sounds you. Sounds good. Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Jessica. And I am Josh. And today we are reviewing The House with the Clock in Its Walls. Starring Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. Yeah. And there's a little guy in there. Yes, there is. His name's... <laughs> Owen Vaccaro. Owen Vaccaro. He plays the main character, Lewis. Yes, he does. <laughs> so, Jessica, what did you like about this movie? There is a lot to like about this movie. I actually was pretty excited about seeing this. I really like Jack Black. I like Kate Blanchett. It looked like the kind of movie that I would like because I'm not really into scary movies, but this seemed more family friendly, something that was, you know, not going to terrify me or give me nightmares. And so I was really excited about seeing it. And there was so much that I liked about it. I really thought the performances were very good. I thought Owen Vaccaro, who played Lewis, was excellent. I really enjoyed his performance. Um, it had great costumes, great um, visual effects. Uh, I thought all the, the the set design and you know the art direction and stuff of the movie was really good. Um, it was an interesting story. I was definitely interested the entire time. I felt like it had a good hook, and they kept the mystery going. Um, like you had, you knew basically kind of what was going on, but there were pieces of it that you didn't know. Right. And, you know, it really, um, brought you along with the movie, like kept you interested in what was going on with the plot. What did you like about it? Oh gosh. Um, well, first of all, Jack Black. I always liked Jack Black. And yeah. Most everything he's done. I can't really think of anything that he was in that I didn't really totally enjoy at some level. Anyway, um... Yeah, I too, I like that this was set in the past, in the 50s. I thought that mm -hmm. was a pretty cool touch. You know, adding that, you know, just the, the, from the clothes back then to the cars to the way right. houses used to look and, and the music. I thought that was pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and the old TV show. That the was, old TV shows, yeah. yeah. It's like the old serials. That, the uh, Oval Teen. That was kind of yeah. like a nice nod to um, Christmas Story. It was. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Drink more Oval Teen? <laughs> Son of a... Anyway. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the story I thought was cool, and honestly, I didn't expect uh, this kind of a show. I I think it was darker than I um, anticipated it being. Yeah, definitely. And so I thought that was, I don't know if it was a nice surprise, but it was a surprise. Right. <laughs> well, I just... I, it's it was always, different. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as long as the movie's good, it's nice when a movie can surprise you, and you don't totally see what's coming around see, yeah, yeah like the trailer didn't give so much away that you know every you know right. you can just like guess beat for beat what the movie's gonna be like and it's totally predictable you know i did not predict this at all i i was just kind of watching things unfold uh, the mystery unfold and um the story really helps bring you along and i thought that was really good i i enjoyed that about it i thought the performances were good the visuals were nice i mean the set designs and things like that were really cool, and the story above all, I thought was was interesting. Yeah. So what? It did take me by surprise how dark it was, and that actually is the thing that I didn't like yeah. about this movie right. was that it was a bit darker than I was anticipating, much scarier than I was anticipating. Now, for those of you who are normal human beings, that doesn't mean it's scary. It just means it that it you. scared me. <laughs> I get scared really easily. That's right. Um, and so this was scarier than I would have liked it to have been. And not scarier, even just creepier. Like, I, you know. Yes, they're very creepy. Yeah, there was elements. like some elements of like occult kind of stuff and. Some of the decor in this you know, house. Demon yeah. stuff. Yeah, some of the decor and everything. It just was a little. It's a little too creepy for me. Like, I don't. That's the kind of stuff I really don't like. And so even though in general I actually did like the movie and I thought the performances were really good and I thought everything was really well done, like, I don't know how much I would want to watch this again because of those elements for me personally. Hmm. And so that's not anything against 
the movie itself. Like, if you if those things don't bother you, you're not going to have a problem with this movie. Yeah, I think that uh, that stuff doesn't bother me. <laughs> right. It's because you have no soul. Just I, kidding. I do. <laughs> However, I am not a ginger, so that's not why. Uh, yeah, I mean, that stuff does kind of take you by surprise, as you know, these grim occult things and demons and stuff. But, um, yeah, I know it bothered you. It, it didn't really bother me that much. I, th- I thought it kind of added a little bit of a layer of seriousness to the story. Right. That, you know, maybe it needed, so it kind of, like, helped break up some of the, the silly stuff you'd see in the trailer by, you know, stuff that's a little more uh, uh, gritty. But right. it's not so heavy-handed that it's, like, taking away from the fun aspects of the show to me. Right. I don't think it did that for me. Um, which is good, because, you know, I don't think they wanted this to be, like, some super heavy, hardcore, you know, thing, demonic movie. You know, it's actually pretty appropriate, that that blend of kind of the more fantastical and silly and lighthearted and fun things alongside the darker, more gritty realistic yeah. kind of you know I and mean, i don't know but realistic but you know just kind of like dealing with serious issues kind yes. of thing. that blend um actually works for the age that lewis is in the movie mm-hmm. and kind of the age group that i think this is aimed at yeah. which is that group that still is you know likes all that childhood stuff and 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 is imaginative and and lighthearted and silly things, yeah. you know i mean like they still are all those things but they also are starting to understand the real seriousness of the, life yeah, and the, world around and the permanence of death yeah. and all of those kinds of things, right? Like they're really coming to grips with reality and coming out of that fantasy world that you kind of live in as a young child. So yes. it's actually very appropriate for the age group now that I think about it. So, yeah, I did like this movie. I would recommend, well, actually, I, you know, I would recommend seeing this. Um, you know, know your kids, what they can and can't take. Right. Um, for sure. And if this kind of stuff scares you, then, yeah, maybe give that a miss. Right. Um, I would see it again. I enjoyed it. I think it could be a really great Halloween movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, there's there's some jump scares here and there. Nothing, like, too bad. Um, right. Creepy images, you know, cool stuff like that. Scary jack-o'-lanterns and, you know, the like. Um, but, yeah, I would I would see this again. I would recommend seeing this for yeah. sure. What about you? Yeah, I think, I mean, like I said, I, it's, there's nothing, um, I can't point out anything that's like terrible or bad about this movie. Like, I'm not saying don't go see it, but I think like you, I think you just have to know yourself and know your kids and know what you, what you can handle, what the people that in your family can handle, that are in your family can handle and just, um, you know, choose wisely because it is PG. There's no swearing. There's no you know, sex or anything like, you know, nothing that you're like, that you would typically think of maybe, there's not even really violence, you know, you don't see, I mean, no, you know, there's, there's no, little, like, really gore, like, right, I mean, like, all the fighting is like, is like, between magicians stuff. and, yeah. you know, yeah, whatever, not magicians, but, you know, warlocks and witches and whatnot, and so there's no, well, I guess there is one punch in the movie, but generally, there's no, you know, it's not like... It's not like a Marvel movie where no. there's like hand-to-hand combat and fighting and, bla- and you know laser and blasts and stuff. Like, so there's not even that kind of stuff that you'd normally think of. Like, oh, I gotta be careful with this with my kids. But if your kids get scared easily, you know, or if you're uncomfortable with things that are like witchcraft and wizard and occult warlock, stuff, you know, related, and then the the dark side of that, right? right. The occult kind of stuff. Then you know this movie is not for you. But if you let, if you don't not bother by those kinds of things, if you want to find a movie that you can watch with your family that is a good intro into the Halloween season. If you like Kate Blanchett, you know, if you don't like Kate Blanchett, you probably should stop watching movies but, um, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe seek help. But, you know, if you like Kate Blanchett, if you like Jack Black, and um, if you like good performances by child actors, then yeah, I think definitely see yeah. this movie. It's like a three and a half, I think, for me. Yeah, same here. I, I would give this a good three and a half. A, a good solid movie that's worth a repeat watch. Yeah. So, anyway, that's, right. that's what I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Should I sing again? Would that be good? <laughs> Should I make up more alternative lyrics to House of the Rising Sun? Nah, no, <laughs> probably not. No. 
rude. Totally rude. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for Drawing Conclusions review of The House with the Clock in Its Walls. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what should they do now? Well, they should not forget to like, to share, subscribe, and to comment. Also, check us out on Patreon. Yeah. We'd have a spoiler review up and talks more in depth and detail about this show. Yeah. And so check us out there. We really appreciate that. It helps keep this channel alive. Thanks. <laughs>